Tip-off just about underway, and it looks like it'll be a re-jump. A little bit of change for Gonzaga tonight. They are without a few players, including their starter, Eliza Hollingsworth, who is, you know, a big asset to their team, averages about 10 points a game and 60% from behind the arc. So that's going to be a big difference for the Zaga team. They're also without a really good player in number 11 and 12. That's going to be Kaylee Trong, Eliza Hollingsworth, like I had stated, and then number five, Mal Hujabins. That's just a little bit goes by. and. Let's look at tonight's starting lineup. We'll start off first for the, let the Bulldogs, Jordan Harrison, Tyler McClinical, Angel Scott, Avery Brittingham, and then at the center you have Ayanna Johnson. Bulldogs back the other way trying to get something going. Lady Bulldogs doing a great job right now of just swinging the ball around, making extra passes as we see Yvonne Ajim and her first shot is up and good. She was sixth woman of the year last year for the West Coast Conference. As we see Brittingham, a strong take to the rim there, but she's not able to finish. But, but the Zags want to play fast tonight. And that's going to be exactly what the Lady Jacks are going to do is try to force the ball inside as we see the and one opportunity coming down low for Gonzaga. Put a stop to that, but they're uh, we, again talking to Mark Kellogg yesterday. He said that's what they're going to have to go through. She's able to get five points up here in early. For the Lady Bulldogs, Lumberjack still searching. A final call too strong on that one. Shooting above 50% from the floor, 40% from behind the arc, and a 75% free throw shooter. So Ajim can really do it all as we see her inside. Harrison pull up jumper. Can't get the friendly roll. Knocked away by Johnson. Ball is fought for. And Harrison tried to get it to Johnson, but couldn't quite get it past the arms of Ajim. Good pressure right now from the Lady Jacks. And the jumper is good from Michaela Williams. Be on the same page all night long. Inside Johnson, and that'll get, I don't know if that's considered a steal or a block <laughs> down low. I was about to say, but beautiful defense by Ajim. I was going to say, Iona Johnson is going to have to take over, but right now Yvonne just giving her all she can handle underneath the rim right there. Right now, trying to extend it to a double-digit lead, and they do exactly that. Callie Stokes getting her first start tonight. That is one of the things she actually bragged about when I asked about the strengths of this team is once again, Yvonne underneath the rim, and the Bulldogs have opened up to a double-digit lead here in the Coliseum. We'll be right back here on ESPN+. Plus. It was the first seven points coming from Yvonne and Jim. And just like that, come out of the break firing. And that's going to be Kaylin Trong. Trong that time just left wide open on the perimeter. You mentioned the shooting that the Zags have as Ayanna Johnson is fouled. Kirsten Harden actually leads the nation in a field goal percentage right now. As Johnson misses the first, still trying to get the first points for the Lady Jacks on the board. We'll see a different intensity on the defensive end right now. But another three-pointer is up and good. And that is Brianna Maxwell. But right now, Lady Jacks just got to get something going. Johnson, pretty spin move, and is going to get the foul call. She'll go right back to the line. And the Bulldogs, Lady Bulldogs, are a perfect seven for seven from the field. Have not missed a shot here since the start of this game. At the first one. Rims out and then rims back in. Johnson, you can see there, selected all whack preseason first team. And looks to hopefully carry it on to this year's. Good inside pass to Ajim. She can't finish it off, and Hurston will come down with it. Pretty amazing defense right there as Yvonne made a tough catch, but the Lady Jacks able to stall out. Something they're going to have to continuously do. And also get offensive possessions to fall. Lombard from outside. Can't get it going right now. Lady Jacks 0 for 3 from downtown. And the pass up front to Ajim. And I mean, that's a, just a great transition play there. She lays it up and in. Got to get some offensive flowing from the field. Johnson on the inside. Looking for the foul. And the late whistle does come in. Johnson so far tonight is 3 for 4. Make it four for five. And gets the shooter's touch. Falls in. Bulldogs getting the play set up.
Moving the ball down low. And that's a, Hurston, or Kirsten wanted to block there. And kind of taking her spot down low is Destiny Burton. Trickling down to a minute to play here in the first. And just like that, smooth as butter. As you see, Trong just pull up and knock it down. Indeed it was, Chase. Just the rise up and wrist flick and tack on two more points for the Lady Bulldogs. Trying to get the field started, and Kyla Deck from outside knocks it in. The very first made field goal comes with under a minute to play for the Lady Jacks. 30 seconds to play. Now it's 15 on the shot clock. This Gonzaga Bulldog team really knows how to move it. Kyla Deck able to come up with it. Deck trying to push it in transition is going to pick up the foul. 23 to 8, under 15 to play here in the first. As that first free throw is off the mark, Kyla Deck at the line does have the only made field goal thus far. And rattles in the second. So under 15 seconds to play, Gonzaga facing the full court pressure of the Lumber Lady Jacks. Under 10. Pushing the ball up, trying to go all the way inside, and that may have been tipped out of bounds by Lombard. One final second, or 1.6 seconds. And we see Yvonne checking the game. Looks like they're going to get her play for her drawn up. Trying to immediately look for her. Not much there. Puts it up over Hurston Harden, and somehow it falls in. Checks out, checks back in, immediately makes an impact. Lady Jacks trail 25 to 9 through one. And trying to get it to fall down there. So we need a rare miss as Harrison comes up with the turnover. And Harrison able to get on the board. Yep, as we see hands up in the and there in the face of the ladies is another turnover. They can crawl right back into this, like you said, Chase. Harrison able to lay it up and in. Back to back bucket. She finishes with the left hand there. Lady Jacks found themselves down by 12. You have to think, Chase, that this momentum is starting to swing. And that was Kristen Harden to get to the basketball. And Michaela Williams with the pretty underhand layup finish there. I can tell you this, Chase, the Lady Bulldogs know how to play some basketball, and they're doing so as Kyla Dick. Tough finish. Bulldog basketball club outside. You can't leave her open. And not able to make the Lady Jacks pay on that possession. Here comes Harrison. Lady Jacks trying to push it fast there. Not much going on offensively. As now they work for Harden. Deck fires from downtown. Knocks it in. Kyla Deck. Playing their form of basketball. Great perimeter shooting right there from Kyla. And I, I, I'm thinking here if they get a, another offensive possession. Deck back to back threes and just... But it has been the spark and fire of Kyla Deck from behind the arc and on the defensive end that has brought these Lady Jacks back to life here. And they look to keep this momentum going. Kyla Deck leading the Lady Jacks with 12 points and a ride on cue. The field goal percentage from beyond the arc. So she can definitely shoot the wrong, just hasn't gotten many opportunities thus far as the Lady Jacks will get the tip out. Indeed, 57% from the line. And Great as we see Ayanna Johnson there. Harden working down low, not much there. 32-25 with 3.15 to go here in the second quarter. Under 10 on the shot clock. And going to go ahead and put up the long two. Knocks it in over Ayanna Johnson. That was a beautiful shot right there by Stokes, just rising up. Ayanna Johnson with the crossover. How about the handle? Scott with the individual pressure. Deck trying to take it all the way inside, uses the left hand. All before that was Ayanna Johnson from the free throw line. All five points before that, but here we are checking into the second half. As again, the Bulldogs lead 36 to 29, and immediately Yavani Jim going right at Beautiful layup as she comes up with the steal on the other end. Look at the speed of Yvonne. And she just lays it right up and in. And 
And Brittingham makes it a 10-point game once again with six minutes remaining here in the third. Scott has not even gotten a shot off tonight. And splitting defenders there with a the pull-up jumper. Almost all too easy against that full-court press. And immediately, Coach Kellogg signals for Harden to come in. Johnson uses the glass and banks it in. Inside to Harden. Harden puts it up, blocked from behind. Second chance, knocks it in. Kirsten Harden was the end one up. And trying to get it on the inside. Five on the shot clock, wide open. Can't make the Lady Jacks pay there. Here comes Harrison, trying to push it in transition. Has numbers, Harden down low, lays it up, and gets the... Something about coming out of the timeout. It's hurt. Kirsten Harden able to get it to Johnson. Lady Jacks can cut it to a one-possession game. Looking around, Harrison using her quickness. Offhand lays it up and in. Jordan Harrison, three-point game. Turnovers to points. Turnovers to points. That is how the Lady Jacks have made their mark tonight. Not shot well from the field goal percentage-wise, but they have made their mark on points off of turnovers right now. The Lady Zags are just looking for some offense, but it gets sparked right there. Trying to lock down the interior, they're doing a great job. Outside shot on the way, way short. Offensive board is good. Her last couple opportunities at the rim, though. Zags not able to make the... Lady Jacks pay on the second offensive board. How about the third? Outside, Trong knocks it in, top of the key. She turns it on, it is on, and it is going right now, and that is her third three from that same position on the court. Inside, Harden puts it up and in. Trong with 13 points. She's up to 14 points. And how about this for both squads? You know, Gonzaga outscored Lady Jacks single-handedly easily there in the first quarter, 25 to nine. Lady Jacks uh, responded amazingly with a 20 to 11 outscoring the Zags there in the second, and we are all knotted up at 14 here in the third. So seven point lead outside, Trong feeling it. You can't go another first half stretch of no buckets for the Lady Jacks if you really want to get back into this one. Indeed, but the transition offense has been beautiful all night, and we see Kala Deck taking it to the rack here, and she gets the reverse layup. Ejim taking it all the way, and now we'll pull it back out. Three on the way, off the mark. Lucky for the Lady Jackson. Here they come, trying to push it right back, under eight. Deck, I think wisely pulls it out there. Now gonna try to use her quickness, good defense. Harden, triple team down low, wisely gets it out. Lombard tries another, knocks it in. Destiny Lombard. Possession of the Lady Jacks right there. It seems like with 6.54 left here, such a close game, and that is going to be a shot and in. Time she's had that opportunity to have a step back, kind of a more open three, and just couldn't knock it in. And at this point in time, you those are some big time shots you really want to get going. You really don't want to come up empty handed at any of these possessions from here on out. And you mentioned the youth and the power of the Lady Jacks with Kala Deck and Jordan Harrison Kirsten taking. Harden. Taking some, yeah, indeed, as we see another shot by Truon. He is starting to be the announcer of those double-digit leads. As SFA still fighting here, but... Outside Lombard, corner three, count it! Harrison, another step back three, can't get that one to fall. And that time, Kyla Deck was calling for it in the corner there. She was open there for a good minute or so. And the up and in. The Lady Jacks, we saw them claw back and be down by three. Saw them claw back and be down by four. But Truong has continued to make big shots. Yvonne Ejim as well. And if they continue to make shots, they can come out of this. They can come out of Nacogdoches, come out of Texas with a win here. 4.30 on the clock. 10 on the shot clock, inside Ajim. Makes Harden twist around, lays it up and in. Good look down low, Deck able to interrupt it. Kyla Deck is where she needs to be at the exact moment. And let's see if the Lady Jacks can pull something out of it. Mark Kellogg saw something that apparently Lady Jacks didn't. Deck from outside, knocks it in, Kyla Deck. 
Doesn't matter. Still has the hot hand. Knocks it in from downtown, 63-55. And she's a streaky shooter, Chase. So let's see if that one doesn't spark another one. As the Lady Jacks are once again going to have to come up big defensively. You see Jordan Harrison guard and and get the logo now. And that'd be big if they start kind of switching over to Kyla Deck, if they can get Angel Scott going inside against Johnson. Ejim, game again. And Ejim has gone at every defender that the Lady Jacks have thrown at her. And without fouling, the Lady Jacks have played some great defense, but she's just offensively a juggernaut. Kyla Deck, floater on the way, knocks it in. 65-57, Scott on strong. Try to get to Ejim, and Harrison will come up with it. Trying to push the ball in transition. Harrison will lay it up and count it. Lady Jacks making their move. Six-point game with 210. Strong pushes off against Harrison there. No whistle. We've seen that a couple of times. Truong has kind of just used that body and that hip to push off, but just great job there by Jordan Harrison getting that two-point layup. Lady Jacks scoring fast. Under two to play. Under 10 on the shot clock. Trying to use the pick and roll. Not much there. Pull up jumper. And just like that. And so far, Chase, that mid-range pull up may have been the biggest shot of the afternoon for the Bulldogs. We see Jordan Harrison up. Not good. Ayana Johnson blocked by Bonnie Jean. That'll bring us down to about a minute if they use the entire shot clock. And that's going to be a foul on Kyla Deck. Just Gonzaga as a team tonight. Mentioned number 23 in the country for a reason. And no whistle there outside. A gene will fire from downtown. No good. Lady Jacks have got to get a big, quick bucket here, and that's going to be a foul against number 24, Michaela Williams. Under a minute to play. Got to get an offensive possession here. Johnson fires it from downtown. That's her first one of the season and came up short. 45 seconds. And that will... Just about sealed the deal unless something absurd happens. But but ever since then, they've just been, they've done a great job against this ball club. But unfortunately, it looks like they will take their second loss of the season. Easy games. They I mean they lost to Rice and now they're losing to Gonzaga. So we just keep mentioning that offensive spark that the Lady Bulldogs had. But again, as Jordan Harrison comes up short on that step back three, a lot of good talking points for both ball clubs. The Lady Bulldogs were down two starters and had to have some players step up. Callie Stokes, but nonetheless, a hard-fought win. The Lady Jacks didn't give it to them easily. And I think it got cut down all the way to what? Two or three? Three, I believe. So give credit to this Lady Jack ball club. They can show that they can hang with the best of them. Gonzaga has taken down, taken down two nationally ranked teams. And right now, Lady Jacks and Avery Brittingham can't get that one to fall. Ten seconds, shot clock turned off. And Mark Kellogg just saying, clear the floor. And it, and it will be Gonzaga advancing to 7-1. and one, And the Lady Jacks falling to 5-2. and two. Great hard-fought battle by both basketball teams. And we couldn't have asked anything else from both sides. We've had a great...